What is up you guys, it is Matty and we are back in the Rhodes Champion Series. So, I am really excited to be bringing you another episode. I've got some awesome raids I can show you and a bit of an update on how we are doing. So, it is Wednesday the 28th of May, I believe. So, it's obviously I started the push on Sunday, so it's like day 3 or day 4, whichever way you want to look at it, of the push. And I'm getting up close to Masters League now. Um, bear in mind we're in pre-push, so the main push starts on Sunday. So this is all pre-push really. But anyway, that's that. And yeah, there's some things I want to show you in Defence Log and in the Attack Log. Um, yeah, the Defence Log's been a mixed bag really. Um, if you have a look, I mean I got the minus 30, which was the my one big loss. And then I got, I think it was overnight last night, someone 29 yeah, uh, well, 42 percented me, and I got plus 29. If we have a look, uh, I just clicked revenge, didn't I? Oops. Uh, don't think I'm going to be revenging that guy with uh, a third of an army. So uh, let me have a look. Replay. That's what I meant to do. We can. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm just showing you the replay. Anyway, it looks like this guy kept went in with hogs, and he hit the double giant bomb, but it didn't do too much. However, he didn't take down the clan castle troops, which is mistake number one. A huge mistake when you're uh, dealing with hog ride. When you're dealing with hog riders, you need to take down the clan castle troops because they will screw your raid up. And as you can see, those hogs have just been decimated. Looks like the guy's in recovery mode now, trying to throw down archers and and send in his troops to recover a 50% if he can. But my expo is doing some good work, and my double cannon took down the king there, and that was it. 42% down. Anyway, uh, so that was good. And then in the day as well, when I thought I was going to get raids and lose um, some trophies, some guy just dropped a single minion and got me plus 17. So massively happy with that. And then. Uh, the inevitable happened, I did get massively raided and got uh, minus 32 in the trophies, so yeah, can't, can't have it all good all the time. Anywho, I've um, thought I'd show you my attack log, it's been a mixed bag today, um, and luckily they're not in the, the defence log, I have lost a few raids, but I've then been able to gain them back and... Um, over excel and, and get all my trophies back and push up so we're currently sat on 25 2556 trophies um yeah so i'll show you a couple of replays on how we got there so first one here and this is worth 16 trophies which is awesome as you can see this base all the x-rays are pointing down he's got a spot there where you could drop um, your troops inside it was kind of a risky base to try because the inferno tower was set to multi mode but by dropping my balloon in there I, there was no clan castle troops that came out I'd got the queen's attention so now I just needed to lure her over and then kill her and then once the queen's it's just a case of you want the inferno to go down pretty quick but you watch I mean that's level one inferno watch how quickly it starts taking down little, pretty much half my balloon's health so there's the force. Look at the, the balloons, just getting absolutely destroyed by the that inferno tower. So I, dro I think I only had one rage spell as well. So again, really risky rage choice for um for this to to go for the one or two star. But anyway, now that my balloons are down, I dropped my minions in to start clearing a pathway in. The balloons did a great job of surviving. To be fair, they cleared. They kept on going and cleared a really nice a nice path towards that town hall. But the minions also, a big block of them over here as you can see, they started taking out the, all these external buildings. And again, helping clear that pathway towards the town hall. Now what the objective is, is to drop a, a couple of minions in um, the, and, and test the path and then send the clan castle minions into the town hall to take it down. As you can see, that minion went for the gold gold storage. I think the next minions went for the uh, dark elixir or the air mine. So I wasn't having much luck with that. So my the plan was 
Hmm. I forgot my plan. Yeah, take down that gold storage and then try and drop the, the troops in for the uh, town hall. As you can see, the gold storage went down. And then I was like, this was a hit and hope. Press the clan castle. In a minute. <laughs> I'm sure I press it any second now up here. There we go. Press the clan castle, and luckily they all went for the town hall, which was great. So, um, just watching the re watching now how they get on, and as you can see, they they're taking it down nice and quickly, and they just about managed to uh, to take down that town hall before they all get shot down. So there's the one star, and then I've already got a couple of minions over here take, about to get the second star. So that was a really close raid, really risky raid. Would not recommend that to anyone, but I managed to survive and come away with 16 trophies, so happy happy days there. I'm not going to show you the snipe, because it's just a snipe. Clear exposed town hall, just got used one minion and the queen to take it down. And then, this raid definitely is worth watching though, so we'll um, have a look. Now, as you can see, it's really spread out. The air defences are pretty centralised. The inferno towers are central, the x rays point up, but they're central. And you can just see, like, these base, um, these sections, there's one arch tower there, two arch towers there, two, one there, and two there. So, it's just a few balloons. I mean, I didn't use any spells. So, I took down the first one, and got the Queen's attention, which was pretty good. And then it was a case of luring the Queen over to um, send her to her demise. And with a few minions, she just goes down. They die, she dies so quick. Anyway, so I dropped a couple of minions there to start, to start taking down those buildings. Couple, three balloons in here. I was hoping that they were gonna, they were going to take down both arch towers. That was a bit optimistic. I think four balloons would have done it, uh, but definitely not three. Um, anyway, so I dropped another three up there to take down that extra arch tower. Dropped two there. Should have dropped three, I think. Or if I did drop three, that was well done. In fact, yeah, I did drop three. And then another two on each there. Once all those arch towers were down, it's just a case of dropping some minions in all around the base. Now I'm speeding up now, as you can see, um, and without any real effort whatsoever, I've been able to get up to 50%. So really easy raid, extra 10 trophies there, no spells, so no heroes needed. Again, if I had uh, every raid was like that, I'd be uh, in Champions League before we knew it, but definitely not the case. And the raid I can show you from the last one, which was awesome, was this one. Now you can see the infernos were on single mode, both of them, which is and I could only see two expos. I could see that one and I could see that one. Missed that one. Bit of a mistake. Anyway, dropped in the first couple of balloons to get the clan castle out. The queen was being built, as you can see here. As in, she was she was not ready to, to she she wasn't fighting this raid. All the archers bunched up nicely when I lured them, so I was able to drop a single lightning and take them all down. So I didn't need to worry too much about the clan castle. Now it's going to be a case of dropping the balloons and pushing in towards that town hall. So I dropped a small pocket of balloons there. Dropped a rage spell in as well to to speed them up uh, towards the um, inferno tower. Hold on, let me put my phone on charge before it dies. Hopefully nothing flashed up on the screen. Dropped the rest of the balloons down. Dropped in a big batch of minions as well. And another rage spell. Probably quite a poor rage spell to be honest. Didn't really need it there. No real benefit. Um, but then I dropped a heal spell in to help keep those balloons nice and healthy when faced against the wizard tower. Um, some minions did make it in towards the town hall. But they got quickly shot down by the inferno tower and the tesla. So they didn't do much of any damage. Um, but the balloons, because they were healed, they just carried on going and a nice batch of minions following up so the balloons are acting as a great distraction while the minions cleaned up so you can see what's happened again they've cleared a nice pathway into the town hall um, so the, the minions are carrying on round I'm, I'm, I'm over 50% so I've already won the raid now it was a case of there is a direct path in towards that town hall so I dropped my king and queen down and I knew that to break through three bits of wall so I didn't want to use my king's rage ability yet I wanted him to get close to the town hall so two layers of wall down third layer he's starting to get shot now rage time break through the wall he goes towards the town hall starts giving it a good old whack queen's shooting it as well which is perfect and then he goes down 
all eyes on the Queen. I drop her ability. Maybe I did it a little bit too early, actually. Uh, but I was a bit, <laughs> I, was, I was panicking, and you can see the town hall just about goes down to get the two star again. 16 trophies. That is awesome. So we're on 2,556 trophies. We're getting close to um, Masters League now. I've gemmed my hero recovery. Um, what else have I gem? Well. I've spent a few gems basically to um, speed up my. Well, yeah, I want to. I want to be able to raid quickly early on and uh, and and far up in those trophies because I know it's going to be a, a tricky push up to Champions League. Um, I'm under no illusion. Plus, these gems are free. They're a birthday present, so I'm spending it as I see fit. Anywho, what we're going to do now is go into a live raid. Um, obviously, I'd have, have cooked the treats before I click that find a match button. Uh, but let's go see what we got with our full army. What is up you guys, it's Matty. I've brought you into a live rave, uh, raid. I've literally started recording as the raid was going because I found a snipe and this is the raid that's going to take me up to Masters. So, so um, yeah, sorry I didn't start the raid as normal but I was just sat here playing and then realised, shit, this is the raid that's going to get me Masters and I'm not recording. So, yeah, uh, I managed to start Airplay which is the... Uh, application I use to record my screen um, it's actually through Reflector but it uses Airplay um, I managed to start it up mid raid which was kinda risky but yeah nice um, I just thought it was a bit of a pivotal moment for this episode for, for us and I thought it would be a good place to finish up and I can show you some of the other raids I've done my throat is literally about to give in um, it really hurts to talk at the moment but uh, Hey ho, let's just get it done! Go minions! Go get! Um, I know, and I even paused Ed Sheeran's live performance at the uh, Ready One's Big Weekend, which the wife was watching with me, to uh, to be able to record this. So, commitment! Anywho's, here comes 10 trophies, biggity buff, and we are going in to. Masters! Yeah, boy! <laughs> I'll just do a quick shout out. Uh, I don't think anyone's online at the moment. Not sure. We'll soon see. Um, but yeah, while that's going down, if anything's going down, that is, I will show you a couple of replays that I've done as well. Um, I think the 54% was the last raid you saw me do. Um, so I'll show you what I've done in the meantime. Really good about this raid uh, because so close to um, a two star. So obviously I was taking down that guy uh, as in the town hall and pretty simple. This was a massive foul for those balloons which kind of really didn't help me. But I just dropped some balloons in, took down that CC. Um, didn't do a very good job in taking down the CC actually. <laughs> And there were more CC troops. But anyway, took down the arch towers, then took down all the outside buildings, and I'll come in late at the end when we're nearly there. So at this point, I threw in the clank. Was that no? The rest of my minions over here, because um, I knew there were some points I could get there. And then more clan castle troops count. So I did a complete fail in law in the clan castle. Got myself up to forty-three percent there. Then I sent the clan castle in over here got 44 and then 45 percent and then up here I threw in the king and queen oh lightning there to get 47 percent threw in the king threw in the queen and then the queen instead of shooting anything she shot the bloody wall and then I gave her a heal spell and everything I mean I don't know what she was shooting here you can see the CC troops she just kept... Sh I don't know how many CC troops were in this clan castle. It was insane. But what... Anyway, 49%. Um, so slightly good on that because I could have got some more stars there. Uh, which would have been awesome. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Snipe there. See four minions for the 2%. And this raid. I'll show you this one. This is the one before last. Oh, this is annoying. So, you can see the seat, the town hall, infernos are pretty accessible. I thought, I can take that down. So, dropped in some minions up here, 
just in case when I dropped my balloons and minions they didn't go the wrong bloody way. I didn't want to drop in I wanted to clear the pathway into the uh into the inferno tower so my balloons could go straight in. Now I think my biggest mistake here was dropping the where I dropped the heal spell. You might see what I mean in a sec. So I dropped the rage onto the inferno, then a heal spell straight away where maybe I should have held back on the heal spell until they were deeper in towards the wizard towers. because uh, they took that down the balloons pretty quickly. Anyway, a big chunk of my balloons went down the bottom sort of left hand side. I threw in some, some most of my minions as well. And they started taking down the one wizard tower and um arch tower over there. But you can see a nice big uh, pathways clearing up to the town hall, which is awesome. Um, so now that, that path had cleared, um, I, I, left, I left the balloons to carry on before I started testing. But at this stage, this is where you need to drop a couple of minions to test the flight path to make sure they're going to go straight in for the town hall. And you'll watch, the first one I did went for the mortar. So I dropped it a bit lower and it went for the town hall, which was perfect. So then I dropped all the minions in there. All the clan castle minions, but I had some other troops in there, which was kind of annoying. And the minions were pretty low level as well. So, all in all, look at the town hall health. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. I even threw the lightning on it as well. And that was it. <laughs> that was all she wrote. So, I was kind of annoyed because I had been the I got masters and it would have been a much better raid. But anyway, at least I was able to show you live uh, me turning masters. So sorry for the abrupt sort of intro into it. Um, we have now got 596 trophies to go to Champions League. Um, loot bonus is better now as well. So yeah, first mile, first big milestone I think is out the way. Next milestone is going to be breaking the, our trophy record, which is 2760. So, thanks for watching this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you just came along to, to hear me waffle on and chat shit. Uh, either way, if you if you have found some enjoyment, hit that subscribe button or drop a comment. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to be pushing up towards Master 2.